Here across the southeastern part of the country, that's when the severe weather threat can really start to ramp up. We're already looking at another round of strong to severe thunderstorms possible too as we head on into Sunday. So I just wanted to show you a very simplified version on how these storms even develop in the first place. There's four main ingredients though that we're going to be looking for that shear, lift, instability, and moisture. Instability is the fuel for the storms, so the sun is going to heat the earth during the day. That's the fuel. These warm parcels of air, they're going to rise and they'll cool as they go up. Eventually, this moisture is squeezed out and that's when the clouds form. That's the beginning stage. These clouds can keep on growing though and develop a strong updraft and downdraft. This is the mature stage and then eventually the downdraft is going to dominate that storm and the storm just starts to die out. But during the mature stage we can obviously get some very strong and severe thunderstorms that can produce tornadoes and here's how that happens. So this is where that wind shear that I was talking about earlier comes into play. Wind shear is when we get a change in wind direction between the ground and higher up in the sky. This change in the wind direction with height causes horizontal rotation and the strong lift in the thunderstorm flips this rotation vertically and then that's when we finally get that tornado to form.